My wife left me about 10 months ago. Yeah, for another woman. And I've been having a hard time being alone. There's so many pictures and memories, all the laughter. You know, but let's just skip over all that bullshit. I'm horny. And I, I'm 32 years old, so that means I can't exactly just go out and hit the scene, you know? So I created one of those online dating profile dealios. And, um, well, I've been talking to a girl online, and it's actually going pretty well. And we decided that this was a good night to meet. And, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I think it might go well. Oh, here she is now. Hey, Hello? Wow, you look stunning. Wow. It is really amazing to finally meet you, Lacey. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, okay. Um, how was your day? Well, you know, I went to the spa, got my nails done, gazed at myself in the mirror like 12 times, waxed my, <laughs> bought some new heels, and, you know, just normal everyday things. It was a terribly long day at work. What do you do at work again? <laughs> well, I'm a dancer. Oh, I love dancing. What kind of dancing do you do? The kind that requires a pole. Oh. Okay, um, so we're talking like, like full on stripper here? Like, like, is that pay pretty well? It pays the bills, whatever. Oh. <laughs> One time, I went into a strip joint. I was throwing Monopoly money up at the stage, and the stripper said, hey, buddy, why are you throwing fake money on the stage? And I said, hey, when you stop putting fake tits in my face, I'll stop throwing fake money. <laughs> um, rude. Oh, uh, I, I mean, I didn't mean, like, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry, I didn't, I mean, it was just a joke. I, Fine. So, are you just gonna buy me dinner? Or did you make plans for afterwards? Oh, um, uh, plans, uh, tell you what. Why don't we go back to my place and you can show me some of your dance moves? <laughs> I'd really love that. Uh, I mean, okay, I was, I, I was more kidding than I, I was. <laughs> Do you want to get out of here or not? Check, please. Lacey and I ended up dancing to tango in my bed. I have to admit, I just... No, it's okay. It was great. <gasps> Things ended rather quickly between us, though. Okay, we're cool. <laughs> Whoa! She ever talked about with herself. And I got sick of pulling dollar bills out of her ass crack. Bottom line, I got laid. And I'm actually feeling pretty good about myself nowadays. In fact, I'm back to try this online dating thing again. With Francesca this time. And it looks like she's here. Trevor! How are you? God, a long time no see. Oh, I'm great. Uh, but long time. This is our first time meeting, right? Oh, right. <laughs> of course it is. Okay. All right, so tell me about yourself. Well, I'm currently unemployed. Hmm. I was so sad when I lost my last job because I really love the people that I worked with and the benefits. Some regulars that would come in on Thursdays to buy cat food. It's just been really hard lately. Um, okay, uh, where did you work? Uh... Petco. It was a wonderful job. Before that, I worked at Bermuda Bay as a lifeguard. Wow, what a small world. I swim there all the time. How did you go about losing that job? Some blue kid got me fired. I was a little distracted. Oh, wow. Okay, um, you know, I tell you what. Why don't we get out of here, go back to my place, and maybe have a few drinks and see what of happens. Of course I'll sleep with you. Okay, okay. Uh, check, please. Francesca and I most definitely did not work out. I found out that she had been stalking me. But I mean, you know, I slept there anyway. I gotta tell you, I'm honestly liking this whole hooking up thing. 
no strings attached. I'm back here yet again for another day. We'll see how the night ends. Janine? Yeah, hi. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well then, um, yeah, okay. How about a seat there? Thanks for meeting me here. It is so good to finally meet you. So, tell me, tell me a little bit about yourself, you know? What's your likes, your dislikes, your hobbies, your, your whatnot? Well, I attend church regularly. I really like reading old novels and collecting really pretty, really pretty rocks. Oh, and petting my 13 cats. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding, I only have eight. Okay, yeah, you know what? I used to be a cat owner. Um, there, there was a issue boiling water and, uh, yeah, not important. Um, I really do love cats though. And reading, I love the hell out of reading. In fact, I have an amazing library at home. Maybe after this we should go back later and check it out. Why, <laughs> that would be marvelous. Yes, it would. Check, please. Janine quickly realized that my book collection was located under my sheets. Here I am, again, on a, another date. You know, I kind of hope this one actually works out a little better, like maybe something long-term. I've had fun with these other women, you know, hooking up, you know, all the other stuff. But every one of them has so far seemed a little off, off sword I'm gonna use, I think. But uh, I met a new girl online, and uh, <sighs> yeah, her name's Kate. She seems pretty great. Okay, great, I kinda rhyme, okay. Um, oh, here she comes, so <laughs> wish me luck. Hey, it's so good to finally meet you. It's great meeting you too, here, have a seat. How was your day? Anything exciting happen? Ooh, my day? Um, nothing until now, I suppose. Oh, you're too sweet. You know, I actually um, appreciate you bringing me here. This is my favorite cafe. Oh, really? First time I've ever been here. So, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, as I think I pointed out, I'm recently divorced. And, uh, well, I guess what I'm here to do is play the field a little bit, get reacquainted with the dating scene, if you will. Oh, I see. What are you looking for? I really don't know. I just, I've had my days of fooling around and going on senseless dates. I guess I'm just kind of, you know, looking for more of a connection. No, oh, I get that. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we finish up here? Maybe we go back to my place and just see where the night takes us. Straight to the point. Um, as much as I would like that, I have plans early tomorrow with my family. You know, let's just enjoy our meal, and if all goes well, then we can take it from there. Hmm. You know what? That actually sounds pretty perfect. I didn't even realize how much of a rut I'd gotten into until that night with Kate. It had become my dating routine, I guess, for me to have a half-assed conversation, take the girl home, nail her stupid, and get very sick of her very quickly. But now all that's changed. Kate and I have been dating now for, yeah, four months. And let me tell you, it's been amazeballs. You know what? In retrospect, I'm actually really glad that we didn't jump in the sack right away. It gave us time to get to know each other. I've got high hopes for us. In fact, we've made a real connection. So much so that I'm, <laughs> I'm getting ready to meet the family tonight. Oh, hey. 
How was your day? Oh, amazing. How about you? Okay. Are you nervous? No. Not no. Yeah. Babe, you look a little terrified. Well, just, I think I've been since my teenage years since I had to go meet the parents. Oh, stop. They're going to love you. You guys to have me here. Uh, thanks, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, oh, please come in. Thank you. Give yourself a moment. So, uh, where is everybody else? Oh, they'll be here soon. Um, we did tell everybody to get here about six o'clock, and you guys got here a little bit early. It is really, really nice of you guys to have me in your lovely home. Oh, it's really all our pleasure. Oh, they're here. Okay, I'll get that. Oh, hey, Trevor, I'd like you to meet my sisters, Lacey, Janine, and Francesca. Are they gone yet? <laughs> 